Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of They Seek Human Rights for All People. I'm filming this video under some peculiar circumstances. I'm on the outside, and you can, as you can tell, the weather is getting kind of rough. But I felt I wanted to do this outside anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful opportunity that we as a people of this nation can take advantage of. Those who have private agenda, whose interest is more specific and not <coughs> ours, well, they've kind of played their hand and they've found it presenting before us a scenario where if we do any research, we'll find that that power is willing to kill as many of us as they desire. There's nothing on the face of the earth or any power that they can touch can prevent them from doing this based upon their own plans and agenda. And I say that we have in the United States of America or the United States, whatever you want to call it, two representatives, each representing that power that has no respect for the human race. There's a person, Mr. Sanders, who's running for the Democratic Party trying to defeat the lady that the American people say they really don't want. And yet, chances are he won't get the acknowledgement. But nevertheless, here's the great, great, wonderful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest the most fantastic organization in America is the church. The church is the most well-organized institution in America. The problem of it is, it's divided. They all represent a God. And they say the same thing about that God, that that God is a loving God, created everything, and without that God, nothing exists. And anything that comes out of nothing into being comes by the power and the will and spirit of that God. And this supposedly God lives within them because they have been born again. What has allowed them to stay straight away as they have been is irrelevant. The call is for all of them to come back together again in the name of the great power of God for which they all give allegiance to or is about to start giving allegiance to. As Mr. Sanders says, why should the American people settle for the lesser of two evils, what some call the little devil or the big devil? No person of God should only have that too as a choice. You have before you now another choice, the choice for which you say you stand, the choice of God. That means when you go to the polls, you write God's name in as the next president of the United States. And the purpose for doing that is to say to America that we, those who say that they are children of the Most High God, have come together from all of our different persuasions, our different philosophies. We have come together to honor that one power, God, which made all of us. And we're coming together because all of the other powers that we have tried in our lifetime has failed us. And none has ever spoke of the whole world following God. But this is not to make the world follow God. This is to call the people of God to follow God. And by so doing, this, my friends, will become a physical expression of what God truly is about, what God's love is about. And by that, we might be the salt of the earth. We might be love letters to the world by shining in such a way that those who didn't know God before can see God and choose God and will recognize that no longer do we need any Republican, any Democrat to stand before us and say what they are going to do for us. We know the Creator. And we know the Creator provided that whatever we want, whatever we desire can be made manifest if we do unto others as we will have others to do unto us. And to violate that rule is like biting the apple, like getting a, a big plug out of that fruit. Because when you don't do right, you're not supposed to get right. No justice, no peace. Now everybody in the world believes that. 
except when you are being attacked for doing wrong. You want everybody to think that you were right. No justice, no peace, that's a natural law. And no written law, no legislator can stop that. No guns, and the only way it can stop any of that is to destroy everything that's available to cause that to happen. If you're not doing that, the only other way is to do unto others as you'd have others to do unto you. And that is what this campaign is about, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> What we're basically asking is those of you who've been amongst the Democrats and Republicans as children of God, you know that the Republicans and the Democrats don't see eye to eye. Now you got God on one side, God on another side, not seeing eye to eye. Now you think you're serving God, but you make evil look good. You make the devil look good because now the devil says even God is with us. You see there? There they are on the Republican bench, on the Democratic bench. And ladies and gentlemen, whether you know it or not, let me share something else with you. What you have put before you is two people who doesn't give a hoot about the public. They got their own personal agenda. And the powers that motivate them, that move them, knows this. And they are putting these people before the American people. But not just the American people, the Christians. You know they want to destroy Christianity. And if Christianity looks at these two people who they themselves say they don't even like, and the public doesn't even like, and they vote and put these guys in office, that says everything about Christianity. Christianity is dead. But it's not dead as long as I am alive. And it should not be dead as long as you are alive. Now, when I say that, I'm saying this also. America and other places of the world have a reputation that anything comes against that particular system must be destroyed and they will kill it. They will assassinate it. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want you to know. This truth is so simple till everybody is the head. Everybody is the tail. Everybody is the arm. Everybody is the feet. Everybody is the mind, and everybody is the ear, and the hand. So we don't have to worry about that, because it's in our hand. We will protect one another. And if that's what we are doing, everybody knows the game. The game is those things that are coming amongst us that God has given, that we should have, we desire, and he has given the materials and the talents People are ready to do the work and they do it because they love it and they do it. The things that we want is now manifested, then it is manifested for one purpose. And that's to meet the needs, desires, and wants of the people. And nothing is to prevent that. So I'm sorry, Mr. Rothschild, and I'm sorry, all of you trillionaires, you are no longer relevant in this game where God sits on the throne, where righteousness sits on the throne so you can just take a vacation and don't look for some other place on the earth to go because this love this love will spread like a wildfire bye bye